So are we condoning R. Kelly's behavior if we listen to his music? I would say yeah. I would say, like, yeah, if we're listening to his music and supporting his music, I would say we are condoning it. Like, I am definitely guilty of listening to his music. Like, I love Trapped in the Closet. Of course, that's way after the um, sex tape came out or whatever. I supported it. I loved it. It's a brilliant record. Um, The videos was fun to watch. And, uh... You know, I, he got a bunch of songs that I, I liked, and I still like the music, but I just can't, like, get myself to, like, I can't even, like, listen. Like, when I listen, I just start thinking about, like, the things that all these victims are saying, the survivors are saying, and it's like, I can't even get into it. I can't even hear it the same way no more. And it's just like, man, like, you know, but, you know, I didn't, just, a lot of us are just very guilty of, like, you know, overlooking the fact that, you know, he married Aaliyah at 15, he was 27, and uh, 60, and the girl was, what, 14. You know, a lot of us are just guilty of, like, just, you know, kind of sweeping it under the rug. And it's like time was just different back then where it just wasn't as big a deal. It was like, oh, some older girls go for, some younger girls go for older men. You know, swept under the rug, and you just took it with a grain of salt and kept it moving. But now that, you know, now we have, like, movements and focused efforts on combating sexual predators and all of these movements, you know, like, really help shed light on it, and people really see the horrors in it, and people really pay attention, start really start hitting close to home, and other people, women are starting to come out and people, you know, personally tell you about how when they was, you know, victims of a sexual predator. And now that has uh, changed the game. And rightfully so, thankfully so. And now we're able to look, look at it from a different lens, you know. And uh, so I do feel like we are condoning sexual predator Behavior, you know, we support a person who's a proven sexual predator, which I feel as though R. Kelly is a proven I man. He's on these videos. The video speaks for itself. Like I said, I didn't see it, but people I know personally said they saw it. Um, some even celebrities, entertainers, and, you know, people that know R. Kelly said they saw it, and it's definitely him. It's him, man, like. So that's, that's the evidence, and it's confirmed that he married Aaliyah. His own attorney admitted he married Aaliyah at 15, but he has reason to believe that R. Kelly thought that she was 18. That's BS. There's proof. You know? So we, in fact, because I'm going to include myself and give myself some real criticism. You know what I mean? I had to grow up. You know, I'm glad this docu-series came out because it allowed me to remember who R. Kelly really is, forget how good his music is, and his music is brilliant, it really is, but forget that, What's, what means more, good music, great music, or your moral code, which one means more, and I am ashamed of myself that I have supported R. Kelly over the years by listening to his music and watching the Trapped in the Closet videos multiple times and streaming his music and, you know, just being a continuous fan. Like, I, like you know, acting like I forgot that he peed on a 14-year-old girl and he married the 15-year-old girl and even... Like, the sex call thing, I think I was done once I found that out. But it shouldn't even have came to that. Because it's just like I just brushed it under the rug and just didn't think about it. And if I would have thought about it, like how I've been thinking about it now, I know I would have cut it off then. But, you know, at the same time, when that sex tape thing came out, 2002, it was, what, 19? You know, and not to, not to make no excuses, but, you know, most teenagers – Young men and women in their early 20s and their teens and stuff, you just don't 
think that far into like moral value and stuff. Unfortunately, which shows how you know um, the young girls, you know, may indeed have let R. Kelly, you know, do whatever to them, and there be, they, there's, there's criticism that they were gold diggers and stuff. It's one thing if you were 30 and you knew about the allegations of R. Kelly, you know, and you still uh, went with it. But if you were like 14, 15, very impressionable and starstruck, and R. Kelly want to do this to you, he wants you to drink his piss or he wants you to eat poop or he wants you to lick a girl, another girl's butthole and want you to let him put a banana up your butt, whatever, you know, spit on you, throw up on you, whatever, whatever sick-like behavior this man probably is into. It's like a girl is that young. I mean, you just don't have a, a real moral value formulated yet. Some teens are more mature than others, and young adults are more mature than others. But on the grand scale of things, think back when you was, you was a teenager and think about your moral code now. Is it the same? I mean, like, come on. Nonetheless, I am still ashamed of myself for supporting him over the years. I really am, and I'm done. I've been done, and I'm more done now than ever. I cannot, will not, do not support R. Kelly, you know, but I did condone R. Kelly's behavior when I I played his music and supported him. I did. And it's very shameful, very shameful. And any of you listening right now, you did as well. When you played, when you stepped into the name of love at your wedding, knowing he pissed on that 14-year-old girl, knowing he married Aaliyah at 15, even before the sex call stuff came out. Just those two things alone. You condone R. Kelly's behavior. You should be ashamed of yourself, too. I know I am. 